different day, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Mike Tyson is back to his usual self and sent warnings to Jake Paul after the problem child mocked his health condition. Um, I, I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is dependent on it because it will be. With this fierceness, fans can be at peace again after his medical condition had made many believe he wasn't fit enough for the fight. You know, see me as an arrogant ass which I can be sometimes, but I'm just having fun and entertaining the world. And I do think that the older generation wants people to see Mike knock me out. The baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson is back again with fierce warnings for Jake Paul. Day three, you still want to with me? And while it's sad that this warning wasn't coming from Tyson's gym, where he'd usually show some of his dangerous boxing skills before sending stern warnings to Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fans can make do with this for now, as Mike Tyson has been making very EU social media appearances after his recent medical condition, caused a postponement of the fight, and did some damage to the hopes of many looking forward to the fight. To see Mike knock me out, after being pushed off its initial July 20th date, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has a new date. The pair will meet for their controversial bout on November 15th a Friday at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, Most Valuable Promotions, announced on Friday. The postponement came about due to a Tyson medical issue. While aboard a flight, Tyson became nauseous and dizzy 30 minutes prior to landing and required medical attention. His team eventually revealed that the issue was an ulcer flare-up. Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here. His plane was met by first responders, while Tyson's camp attributed the episode to an ulcer problem and said he would need to do light training for several weeks. And as a result, it was announced that the fight was being delayed. Tyson's recent ulcer flare-up has limited his ability to train fully for the next few weeks, the streaming giant, which was slated to live stream the fight in July, announced in a statement posted to X. For everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped. Netflix said the fight will be rescheduled for a date later this year after Mike's able to resume training with no limitations and both fighters can have equal time to prepare. Paul's company, Most Valuable Promotions, also confirmed the news. During a follow-up consultation on Thursday with medical professionals on his recent ulcer flare-up, the recommendation is for Mike Tyson to do minimal to light training over the next few weeks and then return to full training with no limitations. An official statement read at the time of the postponement. Everyone involved in this event, the whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped. Both Mike and Jake are in agreement that it is only fair to ensure that both athletes have equal training time to prepare for this important match and are able to compete at the highest level. The new date of the fight will be announced by next Friday, June 7th. First announced in March, the fight was initially scheduled to take place in AT&T Stadium in Texas on July 20th. The 27-year-old Paul, a YouTube star who turned to pro boxing four years ago, has won nine of his last 10 fights. Tyson, the undisputed world heavyweight champ from 1987 to 1990, retired in 2005. The 57-year-old suffered a medical emergency on a flight from Miami to Los Angeles Sunday due to an ulcer flare-up, his representative said in a statement. Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good, Tyson said in a statement. This is, opportunity has been ripped from all of us, but I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. I'm heartbroken, speechless, gutted. We've been working so hard over here, Paul said in a video posted to X a few days after. I do value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him. I'm ready whenever you are. Mike Tyson, who turns 58 on June 30th, had said, Although we had to postpone the fight, I will resume training shortly. I am thankful to the medical staff that treated me and to MVP, Netflix, and AT&T Stadium for working diligently to find the best rescheduled date for all parties. 
Tyson said in a statement released by Netflix. While we have a new date, the result will be the same no matter when we fight. Jake Paul is getting knocked out. The fight was originally slated for a Saturday, but will be held on a Friday as the Cowboys prepare to host the Houston Texans in November 18th for Monday Night Football. Our team has worked diligently with all parties involved to reschedule this monumental fight to a date that ensures both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are fully prepared with equal training time, as well as allowing us to keep the event at AT&T Stadium in the midst of the Cowboys season, said Nikisa Badarian, co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions. And now after getting trolled as a result of his medical condition, Iron Mike Tyson has now sent warnings to Jake Paul. In several videos, Jake Paul has laughed off Tyson's claims about knocking him out. Oh, I'm certain I'm gonna win. I'm gonna, with it. I'm gonna f him up. Hell yeah. No, like for sure. It, and it and it might it might just be easy actually. Ever since the fight was postponed, he had turned Mike Tyson into an absolute joke, which wasn't the case after the fight was earlier announced or during their first press conference, where Jake Paul admitted to being scared. As a result, Mike Tyson sent a message to Jake Paul, but not only him, he also sent a message to boxing fans who had been worried about his safety. Numerous boxing fans were left in suspense after the postponement of the highly anticipated bout between Mike Tyson and YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul. New date, same place, same fate. In a recent video, Mike Tyson released a message that chilled Mike Tyson's fans, but threatened Jake Paul. In the clip, Tyson looked determined and threatens a brutal end to his opponent. Tyson's message has generated a wave of anticipation and fear in the boxing world as fans count down the days to see if Mike can deliver on his promise and leave an indelible mark on Jake Paul's career. Different date, same destination. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Once Tyson dropped the video, many of his fans saw their hope come alive as one commented, R.I.P. Jake Paul, you have less than six months to live. What'll befall you will be worse than a heart attack. Another quipped, even a paralyzed Tyson will eat up Jake Paul. I have no doubts about this. Also, the third fan wrote, I can't wait to see Jake Paul's back on the canvas, unconscious and with swollen eyes. He's not gonna win. Nigga, he can't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. With the November date, the world can go back to the mix of fascination and disgust with which the fight has been viewed. Tyson will be 58 by the time the fight takes place, 31 years older than Paul. Tyson has also not had a professional fight since a loss to Kevin McBride in June 2005. He did participate in a competitive exhibition fight with fellow retired legend Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. How you gonna knock me out? Anderson Silva, you think I knocked those little guys? How you gonna knock me out? While the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation allowed Paul versus to move forward as an officially licensed professional bout, the fight is set to feature special rules, including eight two-minute rounds, rather than the standard three-minute frames of professional boxing. Um, I, I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, he has to fight like his license, depending on it, because it will be. Also, both boxers will wear 14-ounce gloves, which are larger than standard. As a result, not many seem too impressed with the idea of the fight, especially with Mike Tyson's recent health scare. First off, it still doesn't sound like UFC President Dana White is losing sleep over Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul being postponed. <laughs> Under any circumstances, a fucking almost 60 year old man shouldn't be fighting a 27 year old fucking guy. Really? It's just, it's fucking ridiculous. That's My sick. biggest problem what the Jake Paul thing is and how this plays out is. White has repeatedly criticized the boxing match despite his friendship with Tyson. White's latest rant on the matter might be his most explosive. When this fight happens, Tyson will be 58 freaking years old, White told the flagrant podcast on Wednesday. A freaking almost 60-year-old man shouldn't be fighting a 27-year-old guy under any circumstances. Even if it's Mike Tyson, it's just freaking ridiculous. What, what, what the Jake Paul thing is and how this plays out is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has. White hammered home the 30 year age gap between Tyson and Paul. Tyson has not fought professionally since June 2005, despite battling Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match in November 2020. 
The UFC boss also criticized Paul's matchmaking. The YouTuber turned professional boxer elevated his stock primarily by boxing UFC fighters who were a combination of older, smaller, or lacked traditional boxing experience. White pointed to Paul's split decision loss to Tommy Fury in February 2023, noting how Paul fell short when he fought someone comparable in age and experience. Fun and entertaining the world, and I do think that the older generation wants people to see Mike knock me out. My biggest problem with the Jake Paul thing and how this plays out is when he actually fought somebody who was a boxer, who had the same type of record he has, who was his age, who was his size, he freaking lost, White said. So they're never gonna go that freaking route again, right? Tyson vs. Paul was scheduled to air on July 20th on Netflix, but a mid-flight medical scare stemming from an ulcer flare-up forced all parties to postpone the fight. The type of record he has, who is his age, Tommy, and who is his size, he fucking lost. Yeah. So they're never going to go that fucking route again. I saw some guy the other day say, when are you going to stop fighting gimmick fights? Are you going to call Mike Tyson a gimmick? White criticized anyone foolish enough to pay for a Tyson vs. Paul fought, but applauded the brilliance of streaming the fight on Netflix, a service that nearly 270 million people subscribe to, according to Statista. If you can keep getting paid, right? 100% do it, White said. If you got people that are freaking dumb enough to pay for that stuff, then freaking, you know, good for you. Brilliant move going to Netflix, too, because you don't have to pay. Everybody has freaking Netflix. Just turn it on. Ah, uh, damn it. I'll turn it on and see what happens. Oh, Mike Tyson, a gimmick. This, this guy's guy 27. He's in his fucking prime yeah. as a human. Yeah. And it's fucking. Explodes. And I love Mike. And nobody yeah. wants to see Mike get beat by this fucking jerk off. I'm not against it. I love Mike Tyson. He's freaking almost 60 years old. You know what I mean? My freaking back is killing me today. Killing me. I have no idea why. I guess it's because I'm 50 freaking four. This guy, Paul, is 27. He's in his prime as a human. And it's freaking ridiculous. I love Mike, and nobody wants to see Mike get beat by this freaking jerk off. I love Mike, and nobody yeah. wants to see Mike get beat by this fucking jerk off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Talking about Tommy Fury, he also criticized the fight just recently, especially after Mike Tyson's medical condition. Tommy Fury revealed he thinks rival Jake Paul's upcoming fight against legend, Mike Tyson, is not safe and stupid. Fury, the younger brother of Tyson Fury and former Love Island star, is currently 10, zero as an undefeated boxer. Paul was handed the only loss of his career by Fury in February 2023, despite knocking down the Brit in the final round. I mean, I haven't really got one to, to that, to be honest. I mean, the guy is, you know, he's nearly 60 and... Um since then, the two have had an ongoing feud, with Jake constantly asking for a rematch against the only man to have beaten him. However, his next fight is against boxing legend Tyson, which Fury has exclusively spoken to Sunsport about. He said, Tell me when you first heard about this news, what was your reaction? Um, I mean, I haven't really got one to, to that, to be honest. I mean, the guy is, you know, he's nearly 60 and... Um, I mean, I don't know, yeah, he's, he's, the, he's probably the biggest name in boxing, you know, that, that, that there was, but the man's also 60, um, you know, he's... It's a 60-year-old against a prime 27-year-old, it's stupid. I'm not interested in that fight one bit. The man is a legend, he should be left alone. At the end of the day, it's not safe, is it? The man is 60 years old, you're not what you were. Fury's claims that the fight is not safe have some credibility as the fight was recently pushed back. I don't know what kind of conditioning. I know he looks great, but you know, you never really know. And you know, a 26 year old against a 60 year old, it's. Also, undisputed female world champion Clarissa Shields disputed the idea of the fight and even dared Jake Paul to cone fight her. Three weight women's boxing champion Clarissa Shields has called out Jake Paul to an unlikely bout, stating that the YouTuber turned boxer could not beat her if they fought. Shields has not been a fan of Paul's for numerous years and has a strong dislike for influencer boxing. Jake Paul gonna say a lot of stuff. He's gonna say, oh, she's a woman. I would never fight a girl, blah, 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 blah. It's a lose, lose because if I beat her, I'm a woman beater. But despite Paul seemingly taking boxing seriously in recent years, Shields still has no love for him and has once again stated that she would beat him if they ever could meet in the ring. She told TMZ Sports, the offer is always up there if Jake Paul want to scrap with me. I don't think that he's that good of a boxer. 
I'm never ever going to say or even feel that Jake Paul can beat me in a boxing match because he can't. Four years ago, she had also stated that he can do anything with me inside of a ring. If he don't want to fight because he's worried about his image, we can spar and he can bring his camera crew and I can bring mine. I, Clarissa Shields, will whoop Jake Paul's ass. He can come in the ring weighing 180 pounds and I will come weighing 168 and I will beat the out of him. And I don't got to have clips. Oh, you know how they clip up little highlight yeah. clips? Yep. I had a whole shit on there. <laughs> like, hey, boom. And we can go, like, what is he, a six round fighter? However, it's sad that the man who many are fighting on his behalf cares less about their efforts, as he doesn't seem to be liking the discouragement from his naysayers. During the press conference with Jake Paul, Tyson dismissed critics who are skeptical of his age and just how capable he still can be inside the ring. When Tyson was asked to respond to detractors who've been critical in his quest to fight the 27-year-old Paul, he clapped back with composure. I'm beautiful. That's all I can say, said Tyson. Frankly, you are too old to be fighting a guy who's 28. Well, I'm beautiful. <laughs> That's all I can say. The people who said that I am too old to fight wish that they were up here. No one else can do this. Who else can do this? Who else can shut the sporting world down? No one else can do it. You got the both of us, so we're gonna do this. We're friends. There's no doubt we're friends. But in the ring, we're not going to be friends. That's just what it is. Iron Mike further commented on how training for his comeback has been going. I'm doing great, but my body is in hell right now. I'm really sore. I wish I was playing possum, said Tyson. We're going to see, huh? If Paul can take my power. Tyson added. Give us a little more insight into how things are going. I'm doing great, but my body is right now. I'm so, yes. yeah, I'm really sore. I think you're playing possum. No, I but Tyson delivered one stern warning Paul's way. Once the punches start flying, will he revert back to his old self? No, I'm not trying to put an end to Paul. I really like Jake a lot, but once he's in that ring, he has to fight like his life is depending on it, because it will be. Mike Tyson's words, even while they sounded jovial, still carried the same tone of brutality and viciousness they carried some decades ago during his prime. He's a hero. Is that, is that the goal here? Are you trying to put an end to Jake Paul? Well, no, um, I, I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is dependent on it, because it will be. Shockingly, even always confident Paul admitted to vulnerability and fear on Monday at the Apollo Theater in New York. I know it's going to be tough fighting against Tyson, said Paul. I know I'm going to have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear of stopping me. It's about going into it, even though I am scared. And that's what true bravery is. Underestimating me and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's gonna be tough. I know I'm gonna have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear stopping me. It's about going into it even though I am scared and that's what true bravery. But Paul also countered his claim saying, I know I will be able to take Tyson's power, he said. I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is what I was born to do. I'm going to show Mike who has more power because he's underestimating me. Everyone else is underestimating me. I believe I hit harder. It's going to be a firefight and a sprint in there and more entertaining for the fans. I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. <laughs> This is, this, is, this is what I was born to do, is to move up into this weight class, and I'm gonna show Mike who has the more power. One major concern from fans has been Tyson's gas tank, due to his much older age, even though he is in incredible shape. However, that has been sorted out, as taking the rounds shorter allows for more action and less conserving of energy, something Netflix will be grateful for. Tyson was asked during the press conference if he made demands when it came to the rules, to which he replied, shorter rounds because I wanted more action. If we only have two minutes with the fight going, we'll really be fighting more. I wanted the shorter rounds because I wanted more action. If we, have two, if we only have two minutes, we'll fight more. It, it's gonna be, more action. It's gonna be a firefight, more punches, and it's gonna be a sprint in there, so I think it's more entertaining for the fans. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of sprints because I saw him doing a lot of running. I've been doing a lot of sprints, yeah. <laughs> Paul then added, it's going to be a firefight, more punches. It's going to be a sprint, so it's going to be more entertaining for the viewers. The only other change compared to regular professional fights is that both Tyson and Paul will wear 14-ounce gloves instead of the usual 10-ounce handwear. 
Knockouts will still be allowed, and the result will be based on the judges' scorecards should the fight go the distance. From a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the... Tyson barely ever went the distance during his professional career, with 44 of his 50 fights wins coming via way of knockout. He's a lethal knockout artist and doesn't appear to have lost any power in the training clips he has been sharing on social media. With two-minute rounds in operation, he will be able to swing freely without suffering for too long between rounds, and Paul has his work cut out. Here comes Mike Spikes in. He leaves with the right hand. Down he goes. Mike Tyson is one of the greatest fighters of all time. He was game, said Paul. I think this has been a long time coming. We've been calling each other out for years and we finally made it happen on Netflix, the biggest platform in the world. Things just keep on getting bigger and better. This is quite literally history that we are looking at over here. Mike wanted this. Mike wanted it to be a pro fight. Mike wants a war. So I respect that. And for stepping up and taking this fight and trying to put an end to me. That's what all of these fighters have been trying to do, end the YouTuber. And if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Underestimating me, and I believe that I hit harder. I know it's going to be tough. I know I'm going to have to fight. There are a lot of people who see me as an arrogant dude, which I can be sometimes. But I am just having fun and entertaining the world. The older generation wants to see Mike knock me out. But at the end of the day, I also have the kids rooting for me and want to see me end Mike. They call him Iron Mike Tyson, but I am Titanium Jake Paul. A lot of people are doubting me. Paul said, I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared. Don't get me wrong. I see the comments saying, if Jake wins this fight, it's rigged because of how incredible he looks. Age doesn't matter. He's a killer. He's a warrior. He's been doing this his whole life, so it's second nature to him. I've only been doing this for four years and at a super high level. On July 20th, I'm going to show the world that I can outbox Mike Tyson and prove everyone wrong and show that I'm going to be the one doing the killing. But despite Jake Paul's attempts to brush Mike Tyson's fear aside, it's still very glaring. And we're going to see how far it can take him. Who would train me better, Jake or, Jake or you, Mike? Who, me, definitely me. <laughs> Older fighters have more heart and balls and weren't afraid, but I think the newer fighters have more skill and technique and are sharper. And as a result of these observations, many boxing legends have been out to warn Jake Paul ahead of the fight. However, both Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are set to do the impossible. As a fan, you can fold your arms and see how it all unfolds. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.